Hello, Vati. He got uglier. Alright, so, what you want to do is you want to kill these eye things that are circling him, and please avoid the fire. Yeah, you want to... Yeah, you can't really do anything about this as far as I know. And then once you do that, once all of his eyes are dead, you'll... You can hit him. Unfortunately, I got hit by the fire there, so... I highly recommend that, this technique to, for doing this. Then just spam, kill him. Oh, okay, now for these guys, you have to suck them. Uh, you have to suck up the little black things surrounding the eyes. So that way they, um... Well, you, you, you know, you saw what it does. So they're uncovered. And now the eyes will start shooting, like, lasers and, and sh such. So it's... Yes! Wow! <laughs> Probably those great spin attacks, but yeah. Alright. Now he's gonna reveal... Is... His that puny sword? Yes, actually, I think it's gonna murder you. So I made that look actually a lot easier than it actually is. So now for this guy, um, what you're gonna want to do is you. All right, you see, you see how he opened one eye there? You're gonna hit that with an arrow. You're gonna have to hit that with a bunch of arrows, I think. I think a light arrow is for the best. And don't touch those purple things, because they hurt. Yeah, okay. Yeah, arrows are the only things that can hurt those things. So, definitely recommended using arrows. Again, purple spiky things hurt you. If I remember correctly, this is how you do this. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm crazy. You get rid of these things. You just kind of slash at them. I don't. How do you get rid of? Do you have to? Use. Uh, I don't remember how to do this. Well, I remember how to do this. I just remember another phase of this fight. That's uh, yeah. Come on. Stop, stop shooting things at me. Oh, I think... Is this how you have to do this? I don't... How do you... I don't remember how the heck I'm supposed to do this now. Nope, that doesn't do anything. Suck it up. Crap, how, how do I do this again? I forget. I know for a fact you have to kill this thing. If they think you do. Hold on. God damn it. This is going horribly. I knew I should have pre- Ow! I knew I should have practiced this, but I didn't because entertainment, but this isn't very entertaining when I have no fucking clue what I'm doing. I kind of swore you just did this. Hold on. We're gonna, we're gonna check this out. I'll be right back. Okay. Okay, I remember how to do this now. Okay, that took like five seconds, so... Okay, what you have to do is you have to sh Do this. You have, to do th you have to do this. You do have to shoot the eyes, you just have to shoot to reveal them. Reveal the ones that are, uh... Wait, no. Re reveal the ones that are vulnerable. Come on. Yeah, 
Come here. There we go. And you just slash the crap out of them. Again, I think each of those swords counts as an individual hit, so it's really, really, really useful to have all four of those guys hitting on him. Alright, so... Probably, yeah, like this. No. I can't believe I completely forgot how to do that. It's like one of the most obvious things. No, go away. Now die. Oh, well, crap. Okay, well, I'm not going to do as much damage this time. Alright, that one, that one, so it's on this side. Perfect. I hate it when he, occasion. Uh, obviously, he'll have one, he might have one on the top. And if, it, if it's on the top, it's super annoying to get to, so hopefully I won't have to deal with that. Die, body. Perfect. Ow. Ow, ow. Come here. There we go. And yes, occasionally you'll have these little black things cover up the, um, the little, I don't even, what are these things even called? Actually, the little copy, copy ports, copy pads, whatever the hell they are. Okay. It's probably over here. Yeah. Let's move. Stop moving. Hold still. Damn it. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I'm still very disappointed in myself that I could not remember how to fight this boss. Hold on. This is gonna get annoying. All right. Um, no. Don't. Bad Vate. I actually think you could... No, you probably couldn't. Now that I actually think about it. Oh, damn it. Uh. Oh, fuck you, Vati. He's a smart bastard, I'll get... He obviously has that same pattern over and over and over again, by the way, so... Die! Come on! Yes! Yes! What is this madness? You have the power of a god? No, you don't! Because I am the winner. And that is it. We have defeated Vati. Ha! Huh. Yes, we must break that curse. He'll kind of automatically run up now. We'll just go up, charge up the sword, and undo the seal. Okay. Whatever. And there we go! We have rescued Princess Zelda! <sighs> yeah, no problem. That's kind of creepy, Zelda. Not gonna lie. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Yeah, we gotta get out of here now. This is like Ocarina of Time. It, oh, wait, never mind. We kind of just did it for us. That's fine. I'd rather not have to go through that again. Uh, head to the sanctuary right over here. Let's go. We gotta hurry, we gotta hurry. Zelda, you were glitching through the wall of the stairs, man. What the heck? Come on, run. Run faster. <laughs> run faster. Alright, we, we made it, we made it, we made it. Oh, what? Damn it! I killed you! I killed you! No, you haven't. I will stop you. 
Oh, good God. Oh, dear. This guy has arms. Those arms are super annoying, by the way. How do I, how do, I do this again? Oh, okay, I remember. Um, okay, what you do? Wait for those stupid freaking eyes to open. You can't really do anything against those arms. Like at all. Yeah, in fact, you can't do anything at all until those stupid eyes open. Come on, come over here. Good, Vati. Ow! Oh my god, this is actually annoying. I don't think there's anything. No, you can't. You can't do anything with those things just yet. Hold on, I'm looking it up again. <laughs> okay, I remember how to do this now. Alright. Yeah. We haven't used that in a while. Oh god damn it. No, 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 no. Oh god, no, go, go away. Get in here, and... Kill the shit out of all these things. I suggest Great Spin Attack. Like I said, like I said before, it's Great Spin Attack is gonna be somewhat useful, but not that useful during the boss fight. Yes. That should kill... Yeah, there we go. One of them is real, one of them is not real, and you know, the, you know the drill. Uh, you can do it until he pops in underground and then pops back up. There we go. I could actually... On, where are you at? Damn it. Yeah, sometimes you're gonna do this a couple times in order to get get the right thing. Wow, really? You trapped me in a corner, bitch? That ain't cool. Where are you at? Where are you at? There you are. Let's go. There we go. Is it specifically one or you just have to kill one of them? I feel like it's either specifically one or you have to kill one of them. Alright, now that his eyes are finally freaking open. Damn it! Oh, uh, well, good thing I have fairies. Wait for him to do his little thing. Alright, do that. And then reflect him back. And then slice the crap out of him. Well, I just kind of screwed that up, but whatever. I accidentally hit the R button. Alright, do this. Hey, by the way, you sh we should listen to this final boss music, because it's pretty good.
Alright, okay, that's enough of the music. Oh god, I'm sucking really hard at this boss. Good god. I'm not normally this bad, I promise. Yes, die. No, oh, get closer. Yes! Yes! Ha! You're dead now! Take that, ya punk! Oh, thank god I got the hat. I got the magical wishing hat. Okay, let's wish for Zelda's booty. I need some Zelda booty. Actually, never mind. These are like 10 year olds. Let's, let's forget about that, actually. Oh, God. Yeah, everyone's freaking dead. No, I'm not kidding. They're dead. Oh, hey. Oh, so that's what he looks like. Yeah, that's... I would think that's how it would hopefully work. You're a master of the Minish lore and sorcery. I mean... Well, I mean, it's not exactly your fault. Well, you did create the hat, actually. So combined with the hat and Zelda's life force, we can restore the life of everyone who died? That seems kind of overpower. And everyone is alive. Yep. That's basically how it is. All the monsters are gone. And everything is back to normal. This is music. It's kind of like, uh, if you played the other Zelda games, kind of exactly like the Triforce. That magic hat. Which is, you know, interesting. Uh-oh. What? Oh. How long has it been open? Now you haven't caused that much suffering. Yes, I am too, as though. And he's giving us a hat. A new hat. No, not a talking hat, unfortunately. <laughs> Thank you. Goodbye, old friend. May you have a safe and wonderful journey back home. Alright. That concludes it. Let's play The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. It's finally over. Obviously, I still have some bonus episodes to do. Um... It's probably going to be only one, because there's only really two things I want to show off. Because there's only one thing you can do in the post-game, and there's only one other thing that I want to show off. Um, but yeah. 
this is basically it. One more episode, which I might record right after this, actually, because I kind of want to get it over with. But yeah, so, uh, what did I think of this as a first Let's Play? Honestly, I'm really glad I did it. Um, it kind of, kind of helped me, helped me bring along uh, myself, I guess, as an lp -er. And obviously my commentary has improved significantly over the course of this Let's Play. Mostly due to, like, streaming and such. Um, because I stream pretty often. By the way, links to my stream and my Twitter are, like, in the description and stuff. They've been in there for every single video I've had. Uh, so if you want to follow me there, you can. But, as a game to Let's Play, what do I think of this? I actually think this is a really good game to Let's Play, because it's actually not that long. I made it a lot longer than it seemed to be, because I haven't played this game in years. So it was really good to be able to come back and play it, and, uh, essentially 100% it. I know I didn't get all the Kinstone fusions, but I felt like that's just, that's so tedious, honestly. It really is. However, I, I honestly love this game. I actually have a much deeper appreciation for it now that I've Let's Played it than I did before. This game is really, really fun. It really is. I've had fun throughout playing this game. And I, I am very, very happy that I Let's Played it. Uh, uh, let's talk about a general review of the game. Uh, let's start with the graphics. It's a, it's a Game Boy Advance game. I mean, come on. You're not going to expect that much. However, for the time, what it offered, what it had as a Game Boy Advance game, I would definitely give it at least an 8 out of 10. Me, personally. I mean, they were, they were good. They were very good. Um, as for the music, easily 9 out of 10. Easily. I love a lot of the music in this game. I just love it. It's not perfect because there's not, there's, some of the soundtrack, some of the songs do not quite have just the zing, just the excitement that I'm looking for. And thus did Moe's quest come to an end. As for the gameplay, 10 out of 10, Zelda games always have fantastic gameplay, no matter what, so yeah. The legend will continue in another Zelda game. Light Force echoes throughout the ages. All right, and we are done. Thank you all for joining me for Let's Play Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. My name has been TGamer64. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Peace out.